All right, folks, now you can see that I, and I will bring this up a little closer, so that I drew my shoe going off the page. The nice thing is that I lost some of my laces there and I lost the back part that was frustrating me. So I kind of cut off parts that I wanted to, that's okay. Um, now we're on to step two. And step two is to pick a new view. So you now is when you can pick if you want to do the top view or you want to do the bottom view or you want to do the front view or you want to do the other side or you want to do kind of something wacky. You're going to figure out another view of the shoe and it needs to go off the other or two more sides of your page. It does not necessarily have to go off the other two. So if I chose, I think I'm going to choose top view. Top view is a little tricky. But I'm going to try it. Um, if I do the top view, I can make it go the same kind of the same way that that one did. I can make it go like that. Or I could make it go like this and have part of it cut off of the shoe here. Or I could have it kind of go here. As long as part of the shoe is touching two different sides. I could have it go like that. And I kind of like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have it go right like that. So I'm going to set it up just like I did before on my paper in about the same spot so I can see looking one to one. So I'm looking at here and I'm moving it over here and I am going to draw my shoe in this space. I'm not gonna make you watch me do it in regular time. So now you get to watch me go.